Tonight at 6, Metro Police are telling us that 24 people under the age of 18 were victims of a homicide in 2023. And now our city is hiring somebody to lead the critical efforts to reduce gun violence among young people. Tonight, our John Duran tells us what this leader is going to be focusing on and what this really means for all of our public safety. It told us this week both criminal homicides and non-fatal shootings were down in 2023. An area of focus in 2024 will be addressing youth violence, which spiked last year. The Office of Public Health and Safety announced it will be hiring someone this year to work specifically on this issue. OPHS and the and IMPD and our community organizations have identified the next step is to really hone in on the prevention efforts. That responsibility will fall on the chief prevention officer, a new position for the city. A lot of what we do at OPHS it's, is their programs that the community have told us that we need. Martine Romy Bernard Tucker is the director of the Office of Public Health and Safety. She says the chief prevention officer will identify programs across the city that will keep children out of this cycle of violence. Some programs are already in action, backed by money from elevation grants. You're not going to see the results in a month. You're not going to see it in 10 years even. But when you look at the life of, of, of this person at eight years old and then you look at him at 28, you can see where their trajectory may have changed. Bernard Tucker says this position will run side by side with OPHS's gun violence intervention efforts, which they say have been very successful. When you think about the gun violence strategy and the violence reduction team, we're saying like we don't want a one size fit all um, solution to this problem. We want we want you to be able to specifically target people that need to help and help them in the way that they need it. Bernard Tucker says she hopes the city will fill the chief prevention officer position by the end of the first quarter. In Indianapolis, John Duran, 13 News. City leaders talked about their plan for 2024 this week. Here to hear more about what they want to say about combating violence this year and some of the goals that they have for our community, head over to our website right now at WTHR.com.